Hey, it's Sarah and welcome back to my channel. Okay, so today is a main quest day. Now, as you guys know, I am separating my main quest episodes and my side quest episodes. And just so you guys know, I plan on doing all of the side quests in the game because I want to. <laughs> um, anyway, this weekend I have four or five side quests that I'll put up and then another main one after that as well. So just so you guys know what the schedule is going to be like. But yeah, anyway, with that said, let's go on and continue our adventures as Aloy. I'm swimming. I'm you know what? I wonder if Aloy's a bit jealous of Zoe because She's with Varl. I'm not so sure, but I never got the feeling that she wanted to be with Varl. So what do you guys think? Anyway, let's go. Let's talk to Zoe. I'm here, as promised. And singing. Does it mean the chorus is ready? It is assembled. I couldn't have done it without Varl. Oh, Lande! But I don't know what good it will do. The chorus is in disharmony. The subject of the cave is bad enough. Land God Fa still hasn't emerged, and every day more deadly machines try to force their way out, throwing themselves against the defensive cordon we set up around the entrance. That is only the first of many false notes. Your request has exposed deep divisions within the chorus itself and the tribe. <sighs> Okay, how did Varl help? You said you couldn't have assembled the chorus without him. What did you do? Hmm? Some in the chorus refused to meet to consider your request. They believe that the cave belongs to the land gods alone. But Varl saw that what you did with Ray could be used to our advantage. Sometimes it isn't enough to ask the people in charge. You need others to ask for you. As many as possible. We spread the word. <laughs> about how you soothed Dre? There may even have been a little exaggeration. Growing interest put pressure on the chorus until they finally agreed to meet. I saw it work a few times with the matriarchs and even with my mother, once or twice. <laughs> nice job. You can handle the politics from now on. Oh, no. Mm -hmm. I'm sure we'll still need you to cut through them from time to time. Dude, I love Varl. I like him as a character. I get that the cave is sacred, but how did asking to go inside cause such a fuss? The, f the fuss was already there. Many in the tribe and most in the chorus want to keep doing what we have for generations, which often is nothing. But there are others who call for change or extreme measures. Your request has given fresh life to the debate. Right. Tradition. I've run into that before. But each tribe has to be dealt with in their own way. If you say so. Mm. So you put fortifications around the cave? Just some wooden barricades. We don't have the stone craft of the Karja or Osram. It is our archers of the cordon that truly hold the machines back. They withstand new attacks every day. They can hold out. What machines are coming out of the cave? Scavengers and hunter killers. But they're tougher than any we fought before. More vicious with a strange purple glow. Sounds familiar. Yeah. You frozen fought machines like these? If they are what I think they are, then, yeah. There may be a whole other problem in that cave. All the more reason for me to get inside and figure it out. Okay, chorus. So, the chorus is assembled. What now? They're considering your request. Then, shouldn't we go talk to them? When you're ready. But, don't worry. Their debate won't end anytime soon. Meetings like these can go on for days. <laughs> All right. Then maybe I should resupply first. 
Who knows how many machines are in that cave? Assuming the chorus agree to allow you inside. Aloy can be pretty convincing in these situations. We'll see. Do what you need to prepare. We'll wait for you above, where the chorus has gathered. Guys, Ayla lost her ass. <laughs> but it's okay. I guess it's kind of like a more believable ass. I like it. Quite some time. Reminds me of Mother's heart back in the Nora Sacred Lance. Everyone would crowd around to hear what the matriarchs had to say. You must miss home. A little. So the singing just keeps going. I guess that means the chorus is still in session? The people sing to soothe the chorus, to help them break their impasse. It wouldn't be necessary if they were in harmony. I'm not gonna have to sing back, am I? <laughs> of course not. The singing will stop when we present ourselves. Hi, Nova. Are you ready? Okay, let's go. All right, let's go talk to them. Speak. Your sacred cave. There's something inside I need. And if I can get it, it Zoe will help. and the Nora have spread word of your story. And what you want. We know of no spirit in the cave. Only Fa, our land god, who entered the cave and did not return. The power of the land gods is broken. We are diminished. Tales of spirits will not help us. Nothing will. We weaken. We die. And become fertile ground for new life. This is the natural order. Yes. Wait. You're all just going to sit around? Until you become food for worms? Literally? <laughs> So says the Outlander, ignorant of our beliefs. Please, remember how she brought peace to Ray. Listen to her. We've heard such temerity from you before, Zoe. Let us not forget that you agitated for reckless war against the Kaja. At least she's trying to help. Ah, by inviting you to break our traditions, should we change our ways to suit every impudent outsider who wanders into plain song? No. You should change your ways because your own lands are killing you. She has a We have stood by and watched as our land gods waste away. You would have us do the same with our neighbors, our children. And this lone outlander can save us. <laughs> Nonsense. A single seed matters little in the infinite cycle of growth and decay. An alarm. It's coming from the mountains. Okay. Okay, sir. The machines must have broken through the cordon. <gasps> then we need to get down there. What about the chorus? If the cordon has fallen, there is nothing left to prevent us from going in the cave. The time for permission is over. Then Ooh. off we go. Oh, let's go! Dude, 
dude, I love Zoe. Zoe basically is breaking tradition because she sees a higher cost for things. Let me anyway, let me double check the Valor options. Go ahead. Okay, we'll go with Melee. Mm, yeah, Melee might looks good. We're good with ammo, we don't have to worry about that. Okay. Okay, I just had to double check again. Oh. Machines are everywhere. Pick what I want. I was just practicing. Quick switching of ammo. Oh my goodness, there's a lot. Okay, let's do this. Oh, not gonna help here. I want to loot as I go, so I don't have to go back for them. Safe. There's a lot of machines, my goodness.
Oh, here we go. Let's go here. Oh, we're following Zoe. Got it. Just save first. Okay. Where'd she? Oh, okay, here she is. Oh, okay, here she is. <laughs> I thought she was down there. More machines. Oops, where? Oh, there. These machines are stronger, deadlier than normal. There's more than just Minerva and a missing land god in that cave. the wrong term but critical hit when I just throw my spear at it. Love it. Oh, those here. Top. I need more health. Nice. That looks so cool. These blueberries? No, they're not blueberries. Whoopsie. They move so elegantly, I almost feel bad having to kill them. Like, I don't know, I don't know how to describe it. <laughs> like, it's so smooth how they try to kill me. <laughs> what? <laughs> okay. I need help. Wow, the, the the flowers are so pretty. Look at that. Purple and orange and yellow. Those are my favorite colors. Take and pink. Out, Oops. On your lead. Let's get these. Yay! Oh, there's a lot. 
<laughs> Freaking love this game. I really do. I don't know what it's like from your viewpoint watching, guys, but me playing right now, I feel like every battle is freaking dangerous and a hard fought battle. I love this game. <laughs> I really do. It's so good. Grinding. I, I I notice how I clench my jaw when things get intense. Can grab uh, this my stash later. Hurts a bit when I relax already. Yeah yeah yeah. I need to work on that. Almost there. So many machines broke through. What happened to the cordon's defenders? We better be ready for anything. Alrighty! Vertical shot traps are now available to craft in case these flying targets as well as enemies on the ground and will stun vulnerable targets with shock damage. Ooh! Nice! Seems like I'll have to use it <laughs> going in, but... Alright, let's get this. I'm ready. May the land gods forgive our trespass. What is that? A kind of wall. Made of light. We'll have to find a way around. We'll Up follow here. your lead, Aloy. Nice. Finally. I need medicinal stuff. Well, in this case, mushrooms. <laughs> Don't 
Don't mind if I do. We're gonna take every single medicinal stuff we can get, you guys, because I'm I need to replenish. Somewhere beyond that door. And it wants us dead. Follow my lead. And be ready for anything. Machines. Not like any you've seen before. Wow. This is a cauldron. Machines in here. Oh. I'll have to take them out. Right behind you. I think this is a cauldron. More than it. Right? Possibly. Anyway. Let's get these bad boys. Ba ng kaligayahan? Minerva? Maybe. But I have a feeling that's not all. Did it make it? Did it make it? Do I break this? Ooh! Secret door! Okay. Repair bay thou. You know, if that was an O, I would have read that as Tao, which basically means human in the Tagalog. 
Those cables are glowing. I've seen them before. They're like an infection. That thing I said. What's that said? It takes over places like these and makes killing machines. It's called Hephaestus. Even the mountain is rocks like those cables are blocking the way up. You two wait here. I'll find another path. Okay. What are Maybe these? If I shoot the gears, I can lock them into place. Make a path up. Oh. Okay, let me just survey the area for a second here, you guys. Oh god. I could do this now, too. How are you doing, sir? This place was meant for the land gods. No Utaro has ever set foot in here. But I have to. To help you in any way. To find Frog. You did the right thing, so. I'm doing good, by the way. <laughs> Exposed rotating gears and pillars. If I shoot them, I can lock the pillars into place. Oh, I see now. We just need to shoot the button. Oh, shot. Oh. That didn't seem that high. I think I saw some light up. Probably have to shoot those. Yeah, we have to shoot those at any time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. See? spot we'll wait until it comes back <laughs> there we go there should be able to climb all the way up now position I don't see anything from here uh, okay 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 can okay, maybe check back here oh I didn't see this one hmm. should we have enough ah uh, okay grab the case Did you find a way I think I can get the crate through that shield to go around. I'll stash this away for later. Oh, okay. Can't fit the crate through an opening. Got it. We have to go through the other way.
is actually pretty fun. Oh, except for that, that's not fun. <laughs> that did it. The gears on the pillars should be exposed now. Looks like there are only two pillars this time. Mm. This one right here. There. Nice, got it. Should be able to get across now. I love how they recorded lines from the NPCs that cheer Eli on, like what Varl just did. I think it's a nice time. Oh! oh, you jinxed it. <laughs> Ay ay ay, bro yeah, jinxed it. I'm back up now. Satisfying, like made it. Okay. Festus's cables are all over that note. Maybe I can override it. How do we cross? Cables are twisted around that node on the other side. I'll see if I can get to it. We'll wait here.
Do we come back there? I'm trying to figure out where I should go next. It has to be this way, right? Oh, there we go. I see it. You made it. Yes, I did. Thank you so much. Come on over, you two. to get to that node on the other side. Okay, there's a platform down there. I think I can reach it if I fly. Oh, we have to buy Got it. Let me just make sure we won't get bumped by anything. There's still no sign. It's a big place. Keep looking shit. It's not blocking our way or anything. But I'm kind of curious what would happen if we jump on those machines. It's like Darth Vader's castle meets Metroid. Look at the lava. It's so cool, no? Now we know what happens. <laughs> On the other side. Through that door. Okay, we have to climb up fast. Wait. Oh, there we go. Going back up. Oh, 
It's taken over facilities before to build deadly machines. But it wasn't always hostile. It used to be part of something good. Something called Gaia. Aww. I think we're almost at the cold. This is so cold. Oh no. What has Hephaestus done to her? Turn it into a weapon. Which sooner or later will be unleashed. And then, plain song. If my people see what it has become. If one of our gods attacks me, you know what we have to do. Oh my gosh, we have to kill it! Are you ready? Man, that sucks. We have to get down there. Okay, let's prepare real quick. Let's just um, make sure we've got our ducks in a row. Actually, we need to see what we're fighting first. Grimpen. Ooh, it's a Triceratops. It's Sarah from Land Four Times. <laughs> Man, that looks so cool. It's a Triceratops. Okay, I think we're ready. <sighs> Explosive is at the back. All right, let's let's get this bread. I feel bad for Zoe though. We essentially have to kill one of her gods, like something she truly believed in. I know. Our ammo's okay. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Oh. Okay. I don't think I need that one anyway, so I think we're good. Weak against poison and. Sure. Let me, let me uh, scout the area before we start. Okay. Up. Use that. Turn five. Also do this. <laughs> it's like in the trailer. I love it. It feels so cool, dude. Let's do it. Actually, wait, let me just charge this up before we do it. Nice. Okay. Okay. 
got backup now. now learn its to pattern down. a bit so I think the first target should be his blaze sack at the very top that will be our priority okay we got this we got this Dome of Light. Is it protecting the machine? Yeah. There should be a node I can override nearby to shut it down. Great, 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 great. Let's do it. Watching them fight. Got it, got it, got it, got it. Oh, there's one more. Got it. 
Still her god. I do not grieve for a god or a machine, but because I no longer know what to believe. Look, so if you want, you can go back home. Do I still have one? And if so, for how long? Can you really heal our lands? Save my people? So badass. A time. But it starts now. Yo. It's so cool. Not bad. Up we go. But there's more. Like Aloy said, this is only the beginning. Dude. <laughs> I love Varl. He's such a good friend. I love Varl. Aloy, core. My focus is showing holograms on him. They look like machines. There must be overrides. Knowledge on how to tame machines. Let's find out. Okay, let's just get some. Health and mushroom, whatever we can get, you know. <sighs> Ooh, there we go. I should probably get those overrides before moving on. They might come in handy. Like Looks like Hephaestus has been upgrading the security grid on the cauldrons. Been not sure I can do much about that right now. And my focus doesn't recognize something. That looks so pretty. Machines I haven't seen yet. Got what you need? Yes. We've got a pig! Oh, I love it! I can override a, a boar now. That makes me happy. Eye of the earth. Sound good. Was that the spirit, Minerva? I, I don't think so. At least, not directly. Attention. All personnel must vacate the facility immediately. Something doesn't look exactly. That sounds scary. Seen anything like it before? No. Dude, this is such a cool looking lab. I mean, look at this. There. That's our way out. Error. Unauthorized access. Initiating facility lockdown. Stay out. What's going on? Well, at least the emergency lights work. No. <laughs> it's scary. What just Minerva's definitely here. 
And I think it's trying to keep us out. I'll scout ahead, see if there's a way to get us in. You sure we shouldn't come with you? Well, yeah, Minerva could be dangerous. Let me make sure it's safe. Okay. We'll be right here if you need us. Oh, oh my goodness, I almost walked off. Okay. So that is how we're going to climb. I was gonna fall there like it felt like I wouldn't make it which I feel like is such a common theme playing this game like sometimes with my jumps I, I, I would think I was gonna fall or something but maybe they did that on About purpose Fa, there was no other way right no way to heal her you saw what Hephaestus turned okay. her into I need to find to where Minerva's her. hiding right I should look for a way to access the facility systems. Dude, I feel like I'd be Zoe in this situation. Like, I would want to try to save all of the machines. <laughs> because I really do think they're, they're, you know, they were created to Alert. balance out the ecosystem. You are not wanted here. Oh. Nope, sorry. You're not getting rid of me that easily, Minerva. I think. Oh, there we go. Huh. Might be able to pull that open. Ooh, two things to pull open. Sleeves. Two. two. <laughs> there we go. Okay, I guess let's go left first. Hopefully this doesn't accidentally progress the story. Oh. Nice. Salama. Oh, okay. Alright. You made the right choice. I can feel a draft above. Might be a way out of this shaft. Oh, okay. here we go. Looks oh, like I should head up. Let's just double check that I'm not missing any loot. <laughs> On oh, okay. I thought it was poisonous. Hmm. And over here... Okay. Right, let's just go forward. We'll come back for that after. And I'm outside. I need to find a way back into the facility. Maybe I could look for a way in higher up the mountain. Okay. Here we go. Thanks. Oh, I'm close. If I can get Minerva to cooperate, I can merge it with Gaia. Finally bring her back. And we can start fixing the blight, the storms, and maybe she can help me figure out who those strangers in the Proving Lab were. Why did they have a clone of Elizabeth? And why did they want it back up? Yeah, no, I almost forgot about that. The clone of Elizabeth. I mean, we're we're a clone of Elizabeth too, but <laughs> I'd like to think I'm the original clone. That sounds like an oxymoron. Original clone. I might be able to glide to that ledge. Oh. 
pipes up there. My enemies are way back in. How to reach them. Oh, another shaft. Okay, now I've got to find a way to plug into this place. Oh. It didn't used to be like this. Do you remember it? Anything? You were part of something bigger once. Something good. Gaia. That's right. She can live again. But only if you give her the chance. I can't reboot her without you. I cease. I think you'll disappear into her. Become part of her. Like you used to be. Does it mean the cease? <gasps> yes. Oh, she's miserable. Thank you. Thank you, Minerva. <laughs> Elizabeth Sobek. Alpha Prime. Master override activated. Restoring Minerva function to original code. to initiate heuristic matrix? Here goes. Whoa. It's Gaia! Or Minerva. No, it's Gaia. That's Gaia. Discuss, but initialization of my heuristic matrix will not be complete for several minutes more. In the meantime, I suggest you familiarize yourself with this facility. It is our best option for a base of operations, and you can make use of its equipment to improve your ability to override machines. Um, uh, yeah. Yeah, that, that sounds good. Shall I grant access to your companions? They will be here shortly. Um... Okay, but... Don't overwhelm them, okay? Aww. They don't have a lot of experience with things like... Well... You. She's so cute. I love Aloy. Fake this time? No. This time she's real. Borl, so this is Gaia. Hello. Hi. Hi. Gaia's still uh waking up. Let's look around. I 
will highlight the location of the lab on your focus. I have established a network between your focuses, allowing you to communicate when apart. <gasps> Good. That's so sweet of her. So Thank what you. Was this place? A regional control center where Zero Dawn progeny would have overseen terraforming operations in the area. I suggest you explore this facility, Aloy, until my initialization is complete. What's all this? This was intended as the main gathering space for control center operatives. You could fit a good number of people in here. Or maybe just a few. To start with, you two go ahead. I'm going to poke around a bit. This would have been an access point for advanced training modules on terraforming operations. Unfortunately, those modules were deleted when the Apollo database was destroyed. Oh, that's, that's too a bad. shame. Looks like an office. Correct. The facility was designed with a number of private offices. I guess it's nice to have a space to call your own. So this place was here all this time. Built for people who would never show up. Why didn't they? Remember that guy I told you about? Ted Farrow? He... Yeah! Sabotaged things. Fudge Ted Farrow. It wasn't supposed to be this way. So this was supposed to be... the lab. That was its intended purpose. Some of the machine data you recovered from the repair bay below us appears to be corrupted. Accessing the terminal in this room will show you how to repair and complete the override. I'll take a look. Okay. Fabrication terminal. Use a trail of fast growing plants and then. Oh, really? The Triceratops? Oh. The Triceratops is a gardener! Anyway, so this seems like a notebook for the cauldrons and override, which is... Cool! I mean, at least you could see it. Hmm. Ah, you got to choose like what you... data from okay. machine parts to fix the corrupted override. My initialization is complete. You may continue to explore the facility, Aloy. Explore the base. When you return are ready, to the control return room. to the control room. We have much to discuss. You know what I realize? How do... How does everything connect, you know? Okay. Like, there's no Wi-Fi during this time. Or there? <laughs> is it just underground? <laughs> Built-in world Wi-Fi. <laughs> I want that. Because <laughs> how can their focus work so well, right? Anyway, let's keep exploring. What's this space for? This would have been the sleeping quarters for control center operatives. Reminds me of the bedhouse aspirants had to sleep in the night before the proving. Okay. 
Okay. Where else can you go? Oh, toilet. Ew. <laughs> you know, I kind of read in an article online before that redheads, okay. natural redheads. Maybe it's time to talk to Gaia. Yep. Natural oh, redheads can tolerate pain like 20% more. Like, that's why they actually have to give higher dosages of anesthesia for redheads. Which I think is cool because it's so fitting for Aloy, don't you guys think? Hello, Aloy. Uh, hi. So you're ready? Yes. Initialization is complete. All tests show that my heuristic matrix launched correctly and is stable. You must have many questions. Yeah, but two big ones first. Okay. Support the We're not going to be able to fix the biosphere without making you whole. I ran a search for your subfunctions at the Hades Proving Lab, but Minerva was the only one I found. Thankfully, the sensory capabilities of this facility are far more advanced. I will search for the others now. Transmitting query pattern. Nice. Receiving. Of Apollo, Artemis, and Aletheia, I can find no trace. They are simply gone. Oh, <gasps> what about the others? Ether, Demeter, and Poseidon are revealed. They lie within reach. Procurable. Whoa! Whoa! Wait, how is this going to work though if we're not complete? It too stands revealed, but it is not like the others. <laughs> That's for sure. In the years since the extinction signal, Hephaestus has evolved. Moreover, it is not confined to a single location. It haunts the global network that connects cauldrons to each other across the planet, making it exceptionally difficult to subdue. Let me guess. We need it bad? Correct. Its capabilities are essential. Without it, I can only delay the extinction of life on Earth. Oh. Hephaestus is our only hope of a permanent solution. So we start there? Unfortunately, we cannot. <gasps> Procuring Hephaestus can only be attempted after my own capabilities have been significantly enhanced. Grab the other subordinate functions first, then Hephaestus. Okay. Precisely so. How about the other three, though? So, Aether, Demeter, and Poseidon. How do I capture them? To recover a subordinate function, you will have to travel to its location and find the physical processor to which it escaped. Then, exactly as you did with Minerva, you must use the master override to revert the subordinate function to its original code state. And then how do I get it back here? The subordinate function must be loaded onto a data storage device and a USB? carried back <laughs> to this facility. Oh, that's a cool the looking USB. Kernel was stored on? Yes. Its capacity is limited. So it can only carry one subordinate function at a time. But in all other <sighs> respects, it will suffice. Okay, now the strangers. I wanna know about them. Maybe you can help me make sense of something. A while ago, I had a run-in with a group of... strangers who tried to kill me. They had machine servitors and a, um... a, a clone. Of Elizabeth Sobek with them. Yes, this was recorded by your focus. Do you know who they are? The answer to that question is related to the extinction signal that woke Hades, prompting my predecessor's self destruction. The extinction signal? Okay, that sounds ominous. The signal did not come from Earth, Aloy. Wait, 
Wait, remember at the start of the game? Complicated, but it appears to have originated 81 trillion kilometers away. Distance so vast that light itself requires 8.611 years to cross it. What? I thought it blew up. Okay, so, what's so far away, and and why does it want us dead? The Sirius Star System. Sirius. But that's where Far Zenith, their ship. Yeah. Yes, that's where it was headed. But it blew up. Okay, okay. Unless... Uh, I don't... Why make it seem like they failed? They didn't want anyone to know. They didn't <sighs> want future humans to think that they were out there. Wait. Oh! The strangers who tried to kill me at the Hades Proving Lab? The ones with the clone? Are you saying that they're from... That they're descendants of... Far Zenith? Yes. That is my conclusion. Yo! The three subordinate functions that you detected. What do we know about them? All three are relevant to problems currently plaguing the biosphere. Ether is responsible for detoxifying the atmosphere and moderating the weather. Poseidon controls the organic and chemical composition of water resources. Demeter sows, fertilizes, and tends to plant life. If all three were restored to me, they would constitute a massive increase to my heuristic processing density. But beware, their responses to my query pattern were irregular. In human terms, they are frightened, lost, and paranoid. <gasps> like Minerva, oh. they need to be whole again. Exactly. Okay. The missing subordinate functions. Oh wait, I already... What can you tell me about that? <laughs> my bad. Artemis rewilded the Earth with a variety of animal species. Eleuthia was responsible for gestating, nurturing, and acculturing a new generation of human beings. Apollo was tasked with preserving, organizing, and disseminating vast archives of human knowledge. And oh, okay, that's why. Fortunately, all archived Apollo data was purged on the 2nd of February, 2066. By order of Ted Pharaoh. Pharaoh, huh? I really hate that guy. Understand. Yes! He appears to have been pathologically narcissistic, impulsive, and unstable. All I three hate him, I swear. Already served their purpose, or were prevented from doing so. Mm -hmm, Do mm -hmm. you still need them? If attainable, yes. Restoring their remaining elements would increase my heuristic processing density. Unfortunately, I have no way to track them. They have disappeared without a trace. Mm. You said you need Hephaestus to save life from extinction. Why? Every subordinate function has value, but Hephaestus is by far the most important. Only by recovering and merging it can I regain my ability to design and mass-produce new machines at cauldrons across the planet. Only through it can I program new machines and alter the tasking of existing machines to completely reverse environmental damage. Recovering other subordinate okay, functions I get it. may buy us time, but without Hephaestus, I cannot permanently stave off mass extinction. Mm-hmm. Okay, I get it. Given Hephaestus's importance, <sighs> is there really no way to capture and merge it first? I'm afraid that is quite impossible. In my present state, launched and merged with Minerva, I am operating at less than one-fifth, 18.8%, of my intended processing capacity. Hephaestus dwarfs this figure. 
were an attempt made to conduct the merge under these circumstances, Hephaestus would absorb me rather than the other way around. Mm. A merge cannot be attempted until my heuristic processing density exceeds its own. Okay, I get it. I get it. And how many subordinate functions is that going to take? Merging Ether, Demeter, and Poseidon will expand my heuristic network to 41.6% capacity, exceeding that of Hephaestus. Okay. You said Hephaestus isn't located in just one place. Correct. Unlike the other subordinate functions which are confined to discrete physical processors, Hephaestus is distributed throughout the global network that connects the planet's cauldrons. So, when the time comes to subdue it, how do we make that happen? I do not know. While you are retrieving the procurable subordinate functions, I will attempt to find a solution. So, once Hephaestus has been recovered and merged, you'll regain the capacity to mass-produce machines at cauldrons around the world? Yes, and to program their behavioral routines or even control them directly. So could you build an army of machines? Attack the descendants of Far Zenith and take them out? It is in my nature to take any and all necessary steps to preserve life on Earth, human life above all. So yes, once I have been empowered with the capacities of Hephaestus, I could design, build, and command such an army. Given the nature of the far zenith threat, doing so may be our only option. I must admit, however, that I have misgivings about using such technology to kill. No matter yeah, how the Yeah, because enemy. she's Gaia. Because she's Gaia. I get That's that. Good. It means you have a conscience. As Elizabeth intended. In <gasps> Aloy. Great minds think alike. Okay, let's go back. The sole purpose of the signal was to destroy life on Earth, right? Why would descendants of Far Zenith want to do that? At this point, we can only speculate. Oh, I go. I Earth posed no threat to them. Exactly. We don't have the technology to get in their way. We didn't even know about them. True. Unless... Well... Could it be that they want the planet for themselves? The strangers I ran into, they were after a Gaia backup of their own. I mean, if they did that, if they booted their own Gaia and boosted her power until she could take control of Hephaestus, and then the whole terraforming system. Then yes, the system could be used to do what the extinction signal failed to accomplish. Snuff out life, and then potentially to build an entirely new biosphere to their <sighs> specifications. So they could be trying to do the same thing we are. But with opposite results. Extinction. Instead of salvation. Well, this is not good. Mm-hmm. How about... The descendants I ran into at the Hades Proving Lab, yeah, they... Yeah, I want to ask about this one. They had a clone of Elizabeth Sobek. So that's consistent with the idea that they came here to salvage Zero Dawn technologies, right? Yes. As your own experience demonstrates, the clone of Elizabeth Sobek functions, in effect, as a key to the terraforming system. But... how could they have made a clone? The Odyssey carried approximately 200,000 human zygotes, millions of animal zygotes, and billions of plant seeds. It is conceivable that Elizabeth Sobek's genetic material was sampled, with or without her knowledge, and carried aboard the ship in storage. Mm. Mm. Shady. That's... Okay, but I mean, this this clone. How could she participate in this? Destroying Elizabeth's dream. It's it's evil. It is difficult to know. Perhaps she is loyal to the group and shares their objectives, or perhaps she is a subordinate and has no choice but to comply with their orders. Elizabeth Sobek, a subordinate. I don't think so. You said Sirius is really far from Earth. 
81 trillion kilometers, or 8.611 light years. Right. So, how would the Descendants have gotten here? On a spacecraft much like the Odyssey, though significantly more advanced. The journey from Earth to Sirius would have taken the Odyssey almost 300 years. This appears to have been much faster. If their ship departed Sirius at the same moment the extinction signal first began transmitting, the journey was made in just 29 years at an average of 0.297 the speed of light. If they did not set out for Earth until they learned That's... the extinction signal's failure, the journey was even faster. A mere 13 years, or 0.662 the speed of light. Okay, enough. You're making my head Whoa. spin. Whoa! Either way, that's a significant amount of time. The extinction signal didn't just wake Hades. It made every subordinate function self-aware. Why? I have wondered this myself. So far as I can tell, Hades was the sole target, and the partial sentience imparted to other subordinate functions was incidental. Hmm. So the signal could only have been sent by someone who had thorough knowledge of the system, huh? Yes. The signal's design was exceptionally precise and highly advanced. Were its intentions less malevolent, I would admire the intellect or intellects that produced it. So if the Descendants came to Earth on a spaceship, I guess we can assume that their technology is powerful in all sorts of ways, right? Yes. As your encounter with them at the Proving Lab amply demonstrates, they appear to make extensive use of robotic servitors. Further, they seem to be equipped with some kind of protective energy field. Yes! Them from harm. I noticed that. Yeah, no kidding. The one I fought seemed indestructible. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Throughout history, Every defensive technology has eventually been defeated by an offensive counterpart. For example, assuming I absorbed Hephaestus and utilized it to create a large force of combat machines, no shielding could withstand such an assault indefinitely. So there's hope. Always. How did you figure out that the extinction signal came from Sirius? The key came with data on your focus, from Simon's interrogation of Hades. The duration of the signal itself, 17.22 years. That doesn't make sense. You said that the signal took 8.6 years to arrive from Sirius. Why would the signal keep transmitting after it was received and you blew yourself up? Because the sender didn't know that had happened until it received notice from Hades. Which would take another 8.6 years to get back. Correct. Only then would the sender stop broadcasting, after a total of 17.22 years. So the duration, halved, gave me the distance the signal traveled. With that in mind, I simply scanned my astronomical database for any relevant location 8.6 light years away. Because it was far Zenith's intended destination, Sirius was the only logical source. Just say you're smart, Gaia. <laughs> because I'm smart. <laughs> I'm kidding. But wow. Okay, I think we... Let's just go back. Biosphere. What is the state of the biosphere? Is the terraforming system functioning at all? In a sense, the terraforming system never stopped functioning. The difference since my predecessor's destruction, is that there has been no central governing intelligence to monitor its robotic agents and assign new tasks. As a result, errors have accrued, and day by day, the biosphere has gradually veered ever more sharply towards destruction. In recent months, disturbances in the biosphere have become obvious. But these bellwether phenomena offer just the merest glimpse of the complex and accelerating cycles of environmental dysfunction, now driving Earth's biosphere towards collapse. Then you can't do anything to stop it. If you can return Aether, Poseidon, and Demeter to me, I can improvise modest corrections to parts of the system. Weather will improve. Water will be purified, 
and rampant plant growth curtailed. But such corrections will not stave off collapse. They will only buy us time. Only with Hephaestus can I design and produce new robotic agents designed to permanently reverse the damage that has accumulated. Mm. All efforts must be directed toward that end. Okay, okay, okay. How long do we have? Ooh, that's important. How long do we have then? At present rates, without additional factors, the biosphere will cross a point of no return in approximately four months. And if I gather ether, Demeter, that is, Poseidon, oh my God. merge you with them? We will only gain a few months more. Well, every bit counts. Oh my gosh, imagine not even having a year! I guess I should get going and start bringing back subordinate functions. What can you tell me about their locations? When my predecessor destroyed herself, the subordinate functions sought physical processors capable of holding them. So in each case you will be looking for a powerful computer of some kind. Ether is the closest and therefore might be the easiest to acquire. However, it appears to be in the middle of Tanakh territory. My knowledge of that tribe is limited to data I read on your focus, but they seem to have a significant inclination towards violence. Well, that's a nice way to put it. <laughs> what about Poseidon and Demeter? Poseidon has taken shelter in the desert south of this location. My oh. substratal geography data indicates that a major old world settlement called Las Vegas was located there. <gasps> Las Vegas! in the middle of the desert, huh? Strange place for an AI devoted to water. Agreed. As for Demeter, it appears to be located on the coast to the far west. Unfortunately, I am unable to provide any relevant data about the region. As such, it may be the most difficult to retrieve. Okay. So, three subordinate functions to go after. Aether, somewhere in Tanakh territory. Poseidon in the desert, and Demeter on the coast. Where will you begin? <sighs> oh! I guess Aether. I think I'll head for Aether. Then I will assign Aether as the objective on your focus. If you obtain it, I may be able to use it to quell the most severe storms in the region. Though I will require Hephaestus and the control over machines that it offers to permanently stabilize the biosphere. Should you change your mind, you can update your objective via your focus interface at any time. I will also transmit a summary of available data on all of the subordinate functions to you for reference. Is there anything else I can help you with? I know you have a great deal to accomplish. I know. It's okay. I do, don't I? Is something wrong? Um, I don't know. It's just that Elizabeth set the bar pretty high. She had a dream for you, for life on Earth, and a lot has gone wrong, and it's all on my shoulders to fix it. Do you think I can do it all? Repair the system? Defeat Varzenith? Live up to her example? Absolutely. In her last message, my predecessor declared her unwavering conviction in your success. In you, all things are possible. You prevailed in purging Hades and rebooting my system core. You will prevail in this. Thank you, Gaia. Well, I, uh, I guess I should get going. I have unlocked the facility's exits. One leads onward to the west. The other leads back down the mountain to Plainsong, should you wish to return east. Whoa! Gonna have to get used to that. That you, Aloy? Uh, yeah. Gaia's opened the exits to this place. Can you and Zoe meet me by the west door? Be right there. at the base through the west door 
Guys, that's a lot of information, information overload, but also, like, I have so much to say. We'll talk about it in the outro. But for now... Gaia, what is this? It is a control console for a drone-based imaging system connected to this dome. I will transmit the relevant data to your focus. Huh. So this Cyclops is a network of drones to monitor the deteriorating biosphere conditions. I guess it was meant to display on the dome, but the drones aren't connected anymore. If I find the drones out in the wilds, I could get the data from them, use it to reconnect them, and restore the display. Uh. Error. Drone feed disconnected. Okay. Data missing. Okay, so Error. those are what those drones do. Error. Data missing. Error. Drone feed disconnected. Okay. Error. Okay. Drone offline. All right. At least now we know where the drones are connected and what they do. Um. I guess let's just go to the exit. I need to bring Ether back for Gaia. Varl and Zo are waiting for me by the west exit. But I could head back east first, check on how Plain Song's doing after the attack. Or I could also look around here some more. Let's go. Let us go. Let us go. Oh, oh, oh here we go. Yes. I think it'll be better this way. After you, Aloy. <sighs> Look at the snow! I need to head further west. To, um, get more of Gaia's components. Make her stronger. You two can stay here in the meantime. And Gaia can help get you up to speed. I'm not trying to shut you out. This, it's like... training. Actually, I'm gonna go back east to get Erend. Bring him here. Look, allies, okay. friends, can help. We have a place to stay now. And like you said, Gaia can teach us, catch us up. It'll be okay. Okay. Take these, then. One to wear. One for backup. While you're at it, stop by Stone's Echo and look for Milu. Give her a message for Talana that I found a way over the mountains. Will do. Ooh. Are you going with him? No. After what happened in the cave below, I want to stay here a while. There is much I need to understand. Maybe by the time you get back, I'll have a thing or two I can teach you. Looking forward to it. When will you be back? I'm, uh, I'm not sure. But hopefully I'll have one of Gaia's missing components with me. Be careful out there. Even in Plainsong, we heard how the Tanakh clan lands are suffering from storms, machines, and now Regala. Don't worry about me. I'll be fine. Good hunting, Aloy. To North Clan lands. Somewhere out there's three of Gaia's subfunctions. And who knows what else? A lot of machines and fighting. <laughs> the Sea of Sands. Oh, I said this is where we have to go. Sea of the Pikes. Broken Sky. Ooh. I like the names of the quests. They look so good. <sighs> okay. Time for an outro, you guys. I have a lot to talk about. I have a lot to say. Starting off with... 
The strangers were people on the ship, and I thought that that ship blew up. I should have known. Like, I should have known. No rookie mistake for me to think that it wouldn't be relevant to the storyline. Because I remember thinking, okay, so it blew up. How is this relevant to the adventure? And then, boom, we got strangers and they're trying to kill us. But why would they want to get take over planet Earth? It seems like, you know, they... Unless their planet is also dying as well so they want to take over earth i really have no idea but why i mean they made it explode it couldn't be because of travis state right like travis state he sounds like a bad guy i mean he kind of came off to me as a bad guy in the last main quest episode but i don't know i i, I feel like travis state is involved in all of this so yeah but also, that conversation with Gaia, I swear, every single thing that she was sharing, I loved it. Her entire story, and wow, that was an amazing sunset that I just saw. Anyway. <sighs> overwhelmed. Very, very overwhelmed. And honestly, I just can't wait to keep playing. Now, it's like we've got another big quest ahead of us. And if there's anything that I know from the Horizon Zero Dawn franchise or Forbidden West, Forbidden West is we're on our way to the West. You know, I'm pretty sure in the next main quest episode, my mind's gonna get blown again. So yeah. <laughs> anyway, um, as always, if you guys like today's episode, don't forget to give it a thumbs up, leave a comment down below, Hit that subscribe button and I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye.